Okay, guys, I am here in the coin club, and it's actually not that much. There's not, but I did post a video of how much things cost and stuff. If you don't know, I'm in the coin club. This is all my stuff I have. I was just skimming through the pins. Yeah. The only one to change, it looks like I'll go. Look at this. I just got today. Okay. So cool. Actually, I will be doing a reading video. Oh, God. Hello. Too much. I am on me. It's recording on me. It's recording. Hi. Hi. Dennis, you've so, grown a few inches since I've seen you, stand Jimmy. Up, stand yep. up for it since you were. Oh, you got it. oh my goodness. <laughs> Holy cow, you're going to catch up to me pretty oh, soon. Oh, I'll talk to you. <laughs> Good to see you. I just got this. Hold on. So, page three, I'm sorry. We would like to thank Kenneth and Kenneth, Kenneth Rissett. Rissett for writing this forward for this book. Kenneth, Ken has, has been helping the hobby for years by sharing information and teaching others. He is a leader who does by his actions so that others will follow and learn. We would like to thank Tony Rocket, Michelle Bonnie, Matthew Ryan, and Kelsey Flynn, Flynn. Flynn for helping with the helping, helping with the front cover. We would like to thank Marisha Bronnett for writing a section for the, uh, you know how to do it. Hi. Oh, he's got things in there. He's got stuff in there. Yeah. Oh, it's on mute right now. He's filming himself reading. <laughs> He's filming himself reading the book. <laughs> we would like to thank JT Staten, Bill Frizz, Sam Lux, John Walt Wexer, Alex Ming, Bill Van Note, William. Okay, this is all names, so I'm just going to skip to the next page. Title contents. Dun, dun, dun. We have a forward. Forward back, Keith Burnett. I had, I have had an expressive in college coins for more than 60 years. Then I started looking for coins in my change. It was easy to find just about every day. It. In mint mark for every thing as far back as 1892. Okay, that's a far back, guys, just saying. It, it was exciting to find any coin worth more than face value. But the real thrill was to complete each set or trade with others for missing pieces. So I'm going to read uh, this page. Well, a couple more sentences like down to here. Then 
much. College coins is different today. Collecting. Collecting coins is different today. Nearly all of those really old coins are gone from sincerely circulation. circulation. And it is unusual to find anything date before 1965 when silver was in daily use, yet in, it's still possible to have fun searching for old coins and filling sets of different dates and mineral and mint marks. And it is ju good just as just as rewarding now as it has ever been, it is the element of a challenge that makes it so much fun. Okay, why don't you wind it up? Not yet. Just that right here. So, uh, uh, nice guy, so okay, I need uh put this. He's reading that so. Okay. So now. Okay, put it on. So here I'm gonna show you some coins that really cost a lot. So let me go to the page and I'll take a Here, I'll set this up here. You know, they're in um, large sets. Oh, it's not 180. We're looking for it's 100. 98, I meant. Yeah, 98. So 98, I'm looking at. What this is really going on. No. Okay. So first one. He was thinking I was somewhere else. That's Idaho. Okay. Our 1793. Um. It is. Right here. Worth all kinds. If average $1,250, good $3,000, very good $5,000, fine $7,000, very fine $15,000. Extra fine, twenty six thousand. This means like unused. Unused is like thirty six thousand. So go up a lot. By that, but according vertically, and it's not actually gonna be working out. Look way back. Way up. This is going to look way up. Way up into the years. Let me see. Half dollars. Yeah. Got half dollars. Two, two, two seventeen. Um, two oh nine. Was that nineteen forty six? S. See this where my finger is. Nineteen forty six. S. The nineteen forty six. S cost good is thirteen dollars. Fifteen is for very good. Fine is sixteen. 
Very fine, eighteen dollars. Never used twenty. That's about uncirculated. Uncirculated. What is an S? Never used. That's mint state. Mint state twenty five. Yeah, 25. 43 mint state. 58 for MS63. Yep. Perfect find 575. So it's pretty cool. I gotta hurry up. Actually, are you done? No, I'm not done. I'm just trying to. Here's your book of paper money. Um, I don't need paper now. Probably might need gold pieces. Oop. Yeah, paper money will do good. I need in the page 108. Good diamond. Okay, I got you. I think I can get started. Five dollar notes. Five dollar notes diamond. Right here, guys, these two. New York. $925 just for really pretty good. What's well, actually ABP? I don't know what that means. $925 from Philadelphia. Yeah, that's what I'm looking for. Five good sixteen thousand seven hundred and five. Very good three thousand three hundred. So it's a more thing here, but there's a couple of coins and a couple of things around here I really want. Ten dollar bill. In Boston, yeah. Really yeah. Yeah. Very fine, eighty-five thousand. Uncertic. Okay, this this is getting really cool. This is your gold value chart that tells you what gold coins are worth. So gold coins. U.S. one. One dollar, one dollar, twenty-five cents. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know how the chart works? You go like this. Depending on how much gold you're selling for, and then you go down and look it up and you'll find out what it's worth. If gold's seven hundred and eighty dollars an ounce, that's how much each one of those things is worth. One dollar gold, two dollars. I'm trying to find the US like right here once and then they go up to G. Yeah, right here. One dollar. Ooh, that's actually a lot of money for a lot of yep. us. U.S. gold. So thousand dollars a month.